Sometimes, life sweeps us up in its currents, and we drift away from the things that grounded us, the places that once felt like home. This trip was more than miles traveled or trails conquered. It was a reunion, a journey from Osceola to Ocala on the Florida Adventure Trail, alongside friends through Florida's wild heart. The smell of pine, the sound of tires on dirt, the vast skies, they reminded me of what I'd been missing. Out here, I found a part of myself I'd left behind. And with each mile, I felt whole again. So we are out of here. We're leaving the city and uh, gonna start our four day expedition to the eastern part of the Florida Adventure Trail. And let me turn the camera around and show you what the heck we are getting out of. Look at this. This is typical morning Miami traffic. See that? It's time to disconnect. It's time to get away, enjoy some fellowship with some good friends. <laughs> I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. All right, folks, we're here at the beginning of the Florida Adventure Trail. I got Gus and Antonio with me, and the adventure begins now. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. So we hit our first dirt road of the trip. It is very soft sand, uh, sugar sand. I'm flip the camera around here so you could uh, take a look what we're driving on here. My people needed me. Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me. Go down as a legend in my city because we beat the streets. Trying to spread the wealth around the block. No, I can't keep from me. So we kind of ran into our first locked gate. Uh, however, there is a workaround of uh, the dirt road that we were on. It does loop around and connects again with the fat. So here we go. Here I come. Push it to the limit. I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'm going to be the greatest. I came up here. Or, I mean, not here necessarily, but over here. Yeah. Here well, we're going to look for a place to camp. Uh, oh, I'm recording you, recording me. Recording you. Okay. Recording look what me. I brought you. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, so let's see. Um, so over here we got some uh, old fashioned beef, beef jerky. That's uh, very kind of you, sir. Very kind. Quite welcome. Quite welcome. There's a, a lake here off off the road. Do you want to go check it out? Maybe we can camp by that. Sure. Sure, sure. It's right off the road here. Even though it says closed road. But there's no no uh, waypoints for campsites that he has on the. Uh, I don't see any waypoints for campsites so far. What's that waypoint there? Trail info. Usually some of these are like uh, road closer. This trail, yeah. very deep mud holes. Totally doable in your 4x4. Alright, so that's not it. That's, uh, right right on. On. that's uh, what that's What about sick. that one up there? Is that more trail info? So this this information uh, would not be found in Google, right? No. Okay, here we go. Now someone's taking the time to make this trail, and we can yeah. thank him for all the information that's on him. Yeah, the guy that created this trail's name is John Berkmeyer. It took him six years to do this. Just this particular trail? Just this particular trail. It's, it's a total of 1,200 miles. Wow. And, and uh, all these trails that are... They're, they're by private individuals that actually do the trails. They travel around and they, he, and he, they enter in. Yeah, that's okay. why he said he spent six years driving and wow. figuring out the routes. And 
Okay, there is a marked campsite here. Sandhill Hunt Camp. And uh, it's marked as part of the Florida Adventure Trail. All right, let's check this. I say we hit that. All right, cool. Oh. There you have it. We're going to go and check out that campsite. Hopefully it's available. And then we'll set up. We'll cook some dinner. I gave the rest of my beef jerky to Antonio. He was having a Joe Pesci moment. So... Uh, as, as, a, as a peace offering. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's do it. Ever here I come. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way, I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, draw my name in the stone. Draw my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Draw my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. So we made it to the first camp. Um, let me tell you guys, so far, Florida Adventure Trail has been epic. Day one, we went from Miami all the way to Jennings to the state, um, Georgia, Florida state line. Turned around, went right back into Jennings and started the Florida Adventure Trail. It has not disappointed the first half or pretty much the first first part of the trails are like logging roads but they're all sugar sand very soft sugar sand and let me tell you very 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 fun to drive um uh, very dusty so if you're driving in a group give yourselves enough space turn on your running lights uh, so that you could see where the uh the car behind you and in front of you uh, is or some turns so you got to be uh, very careful because it's very easy to slide off the road there all right so we finally uh second part uh, once you pass the dirt roads you come into a wildlife management area i don't know the name right now at the top of my head i got to look in onyx and i'll put it in the description below or in the in the text and there is a marked campsite the waypoint from the fat files is a little bit off it shows it a little bit past where the campsite is uh, we found it I put a new web uh, waypoint in there uh, let me tell you beautiful beautiful dispersed camping site I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like we're about to set up camp for the night so we could cook some dinner relax and get ready for day two uh, once we went to the Florida Georgia state line where we started the uh, the actual trail and uh, mainly some logging roads fire access roads uh, at the very beginning with very soft uh, sugar sand and um, little road little off-road mainly off-road but that's that's to be expected in all these trails you can't have completely off-road found a nice camp spot very happy with it and uh, now in the process of cooking dinner Day one, so far it's been awesome. Uh, it took a few hours to get up here, but it, till we uh, arrived to basically the park, it was really nice. Uh, uh, it was nice to get out of the city, uh, finally, and get, get a break from all the uh, traffic and the people and get away a little bit. So that's, that's, a, that's, that's been a great thing. Nothing, well, we're ready to enjoy a nice meal, relax, enjoy the night, enjoy the fire, and talk how they used to do it in the old days. Don't worry about it, buddy. All right, you got a big puddle here, so uh, what do you think, should I go right through the middle? All right, so we're gonna check out a little mud hole here before uh, we continue. It's gonna be deeper here. We should probably put a across? waypoint no. here about a little. Well, I'm gonna go first so you can see how deep it is. Huh. You, me, whatever. Uh, I need somebody to pull me out. That would be you. So it's gonna be dry. <laughs> yeah. you pull me out. All right. Let's uh. Come out here and come across with him. All right. Okay. 
Here we go. Let's do it. I'm recording you, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording, recording you. You're recording me. a sore oops did I say that uh, okay I need fuel unlike Gus who gets a hundred miles per gallon in his uh, Duramax diesel I got a quarter of a tank yeah, I got about five eighths okay so uh, let's look on the uh, little tablet there and see if uh, yeah the closest gas station is well, probably easier to do Google Maps or Google Maps Okay, neither one of them will take. The closer one is the one to the the, the mobile. Okay, let's do it. Mobile it is. I'll follow you. <laughs> All right, so we got to deviate about six miles to a mobile gas station that's uh, kind of near I-10, and then uh, we'll have to backtrack this way and get back on the trail. We got to do it because I'm going to run out of fuel soon. All right, we're back at it again after our uh, fuel up. Um, took advantage of the stop and replenished the ice in the cooler so we can continue to have some nice cold drinks. And uh, yeah, we're running again. We're back on the Florida Adventure Trail in Osceola National Forest. So far, it has not disappointed. It's been a beautiful, beautiful run back on uh, dirt roads sugar sand very fun to drive all right here we go Day two is coming to an end. You see Gus is there in front of me. We are scrambling, trying to find a campsite in the area. We are uh, running parallel right now to the Cross Florida Barge Canal uh, in the Rodman area. And yeah, there's a... Cross your fingers, Steve. Cross your fingers. As you can hear, we found a, uh, I guess it's a state campground to a state park we're gonna see if they're open uh, we already went to another one that was closed hopefully this one's open and we can camp here for the night and hit Ocala tomorrow but uh, alrighty well the campsite was not available it's reservation only and because we have uh, two people with tents they, um, the tent area was flooded after the storm, so. Oh, bueno. Uh, we found one on Onyx and on the Florida Fat Files. Uh, on the Fat Files. Here in Ocala, we finally made it into Ocala. And we're trying to make our way through this very tight trail to this listed campsite. Let me flip the camera around here so you can see what, uh, A little bit behind because we had a few incidents with the camera here and the branches. Gus, Nimelo, what's up? Talk to me about this uh, campsite situation that we had here. Well, we are making uh, spaghetti with chicken sauce mm. so uh 
Yeah. Our friend, our friend Tony wanted to cut back on the red meats a little bit. Notice my face. <laughs> so um, we got chicken instead of beef for the uh, for the spaghetti. So um, browning the uh, the chicken. Then I'll pour the sauce in, make the noodles, and uh, we'll be ready to eat. All right, so we finally made it to Ocala National Forest, and we found a campsite. We got here in the dark, so I can't really tell you what the campsite looks like. I know we're near a creek or a river. I will show you in the morning. For now, that's it. Showed you Gus cooking. We're going to call it a night so we can enjoy our dinner, finish setting up camp, have a drink, smoke a cigar, and call it a night. We'll see you manana. It is Sunday and we are off. We just broke camp and uh, we're gonna finish Ocala today and then make camp somewhere. And tomorrow morning we drive back to Miami. It will be the end of our eastern portion of the Florida Adventure Trail. So far, there has been no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. We've had perfect weather. We've had beautiful campsites. So, like I was saying, um, so yeah, we are now day four. It's been such a relaxing trip that uh, I don't even know what day it is anymore. So far, it's been an amazing trip. And uh, when we get back home, we're going to get ready to start planning the western leg of the uh, this trip. We'll leave him alone. We don't want to mess him up. 
Oh, so, like campground, I guess. It's uh, part of the Ocala National Forest. But I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Pull up to the to the water's edge. When you're in low, don't don't worry about the brake. I mean, unless you're I know. Gonna, unless you're gonna help. I was just waiting for for that to clear. Here we go. Later. All right, so what happened here? Ghost got stuck. I'm gonna back up to take up the slack, and then uh, when I tell you go on the radio, start just giving a little bit of gas. I'm gonna try to yank it up. In case it snaps, it doesn't cut the. Doesn't camera uh, man heads off. Oh yeah. A few moments later. Ay, que sabroso! Gus, second recovery of the day and you got to use your winch. I know, man. How does it feel? Finally, it paid off. See, what you don't know is that Gus told me once when I said, oh, we should go try that Florida Venture Trail. He told me, I don't have a winch and I'm not going to do that in Florida without a winch. <laughs> Fact. So what did he do? He went out and bought himself a winch. Tree savers, a nice wet dirty towel. Good morning, it's now officially day five, the last day and the day we make it back home. So we got into camp late yesterday, that's why I didn't uh, film any video of it. Uh, we had a little tire incident when uh, Gus got stuck. Looks like some debris and stuff got in between the bead of the tire and the rim and he had a slow leak so we had to drive into town and go to a tire kingdom and we got there just in time right before they were closing. They reseated the beat on the tire. The guys were really, 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 really helpful. Uh, they didn't even want to charge Gus for the repairs. but uh, So that was very, very kind of them. 
So uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of this last uh, day of camp. Uh, it's a small uh, camp in off of Lake Dorr, D-O-R-R. And uh, it's dispersed camping. It's as dispersed as you're going to get. Uh, it looks like this probably was a very well-maintained campsite at some point, And just over the years, they stopped maintaining it. But it's still very, uh, very pretty. It's right on a lake. Uh, we had some amazing sunset shots yesterday let me uh walk down here to the lake and show you what we have working with here saw a lot of uh, ducks flying all right let me turn the camera around so here you go look at this beautiful lake this is lake door And that's our uh, our final campsite. We'll be making our way back home today. It's about a four, four and a half hour drive back to the stress of the city in Miami. And uh, we can't wait till we plan the next trip to complete uh, the next section of the Florida Adventure Trail. My hat goes off to you, Mr. John Berkmeyer. You did an amazing job um mapping out this trail so far the osceola and ocala sections have not disappointed you have everything from sandy dirt roads to sandy dunes to wet trails with some mud holes to water crossings um paved roads so you get a little break in between i mean it really really is a, a, a job well done and for all of you people that think that there's no overlanding in Florida, well, I got news for you. Florida Adventure Trail. Come check it out. So help me grow this channel. Please like, subscribe, and heck, hit the notification button to, so that you're alerted when I get new content.